Welcome back, issues of Sal. I'm Ben. Let's talk about Civil War yeah. from Marvel Comics. What? What? Don't worry, this is very different. We did Civil War yeah. from Mark Miller yeah. and Steve McNiven. Yeah. This is Civil War from Charles Soule and Lionel Yu. Okay. What? From 2015. It's very different. The last one was Civil War. That's the seminal Marvel comic event that changed everything about Marvel and, in fact, like put Marvel on the map, some would argue, mm. about how there was a Superhuman Registration Act and then there were two different sides of that argument. Iron Man on the pro-registration, Captain America on the anti-registration. The two of them came to blows, created super teams, fought each other. Yeah. yeah. The, in this story, it's about how there was a Superhuman Registration Act and two different sides formed on what, <laughs> whether they wanted to support it or f fight against it. Iron Man was, of course, pro-registration. Captain America was anti-registration. Two of them formed teams out of superheroes that agreed or disagreed uh, on the registration and they fight each other. Oh, I well, see how that's different. It's yeah. very different. It's, in fact, very different. Well, it has the headline War Zones on it. Yes. Oh, is this Punisher related? No, it's not. <laughs> Although, really, it, Punisher is in it and he is involved. Yeah. This is a Secret Wars tie-in from 2015. Secret Wars, of course, being that like the world ends and Doctor Doom as God creates like a patchwork planet. All these countries are different realities right. that are just like abutting themselves with walls between them. Yeah. This is one of them and it's Civil War where what if it didn't end? Yeah, I don't understand. That was just a story that happened. Yeah, that's what they but did. what if it happened different? Yes. Okay. What if it was like, it's literally a what if book. This there was just... no what if Civil War. You're making it for, see, I thought Secret Wars was taking stuff that like already happened. I thought it was that. different universes, yeah. It, yeah, they, well, none that you had seen before. So this is, this is just a made up story to continue to have Civil War because yeah. it's a catchy title. Well, it's, a, it's not yeah. just catchy. Catches the money, my friend. Yeah. People, we just had a movie people about People remember it. Yeah. Civil War. That's They're right. going to want to open this book and see yeah. what's going on. And listen, I've got, I'm here to tell you, I hate tie-ins. Like, you wouldn't believe. Yeah. I hate ancillary connected books. Secret Wars arguably doesn't have a bad tie-in. Hmm. Every series they do, from like Siege to Red Skull to, you know, Years of Future Past. You know, I think the one that we didn't like that we also did on this channel was Renew Your Vows. Mm. That's the one I had a really, I had a real problem about. Yeah. But like even then, like the art's great and it's a decent story and it launched a ongoing series that of course was invariably canceled, but was arguably better than the its previous version, but we wouldn't have it without the Secret War story. So this is just a, and by the way, sometimes the stories are connected. Like Old Man Logan yeah. Yeah. was a book that had come out from Mark Miller and Steve McNiven that they then did again as a Secret Wars book yeah. called Old Man Logan. But like... By Bendis and Sorrentino. That was him walking around into the different areas. Yeah. Right? That, one, that one was from, integral. Yeah, yeah, that was an yeah. important one. That was important. But they're not all. So no, just... and this one is so divorced from Secret Wars, you don't even need the Secret Wars logo on it. Like, mm. it's just a what-if comic, and I think it's better than the other Civil War. Than the original Civil the War. The actual Civil War? Yeah. Okay. Because characters actually behave like their characters. Ah. Oh. <laughs> and that was a problem. And it plays with, like, the theming of the time. You know, Civil War, in its original version, was about freedom versus security. And we're not talking Civil War Two, where it was, like, Iron Man and Captain Marvel. Nope. That is the worst Civil War. <laughs> so the story opens, and it's like... They thought it was going to end at the big fight at the end of Secret Wars, at, at the War. end of Civil War, when they were at the 42 negative zone prison, and Captain America's team had infiltrated the prison to break out their friends, and then fight Iron Man. Yeah. Yeah. And I believe the original ending of Civil War was that Cloak teleports everybody out of there, they all fight in New York, yep. they cause devastation, 9-11 yep. tackles Captain America, which is to say like a an EMT agent, a firefighter, a policeman, and a citizen of New York. Yep. All tackle Captain America. And then Captain America's like, oh, I was wrong. What have I done? And then he gets assassinated. So Yeah, that puts an end to all that. Right. Yeah. I mean, it, it ends because he put he gives himself up. Yeah. And then he gets killed. Yeah, but like he gives himself up, he realizes the futility of it. Yeah. Right, yeah. And this, that what happen. happens? What happens instead? Well, Dagger is talking to Black Panther, and he's using the computer systems that are controlling 42. Yeah. And he 
reveals to Dagger, this is where like the, the you know the, the timelines diverge. Yeah. Uh, he says that Iron Man rigged the entire prison to a self-destruct sequence. Oh jeez. And he just activated it. What? Iron Man did? That Iron Man activated the the self-destruct sequence for this prison and he's gonna kill everybody. And he must have a way of getting his people out of there. Interesting. And so Black Panther tells Dagger, like, get Cloak and tell Cloak to teleport everybody out of here before this place blows. Yeah, right. And she says, what about you? And he's like, don't worry about me. Like, I'm going to give you all the time you need. Goodbye. You're Whoa. Like, That's the end of Black Panther. So, I mean, does he disable the countdown? No, he can't. No, he, he can't. Counting down. Well, what happens is, well, okay, so that happens. Yeah. Commander Hill, Maria Hill, she calls Iron Man on her comm link and she says, like, hey, Stark, we got a big problem. Black Panther hacked into our security systems and activated the self-destruct. Right. And locked us out. We can't turn it off. Huh. And he's like, why would T'Challa do that? Oh right. my God. We are so effed. And she says, T'Challa says that he did it on Captain America's orders. Oh. So Iron Man's like, damn it, Cap. So then they all jump into Cloak. And then Cloak teleports them out. Oh. Are we going to find out at least at the end of this book who was yeah, actually yeah. right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's the, oh, that's yeah, yeah. That's the, that's the mystery. Yeah. So Cloak teleports them out of there, and he doesn't close the portal soon enough. And so the explosion of the prison blasts out of him and into the city and annihilates it. Oh, and oh, kills. St. Louis. Yeah, there you go. It destroys St. Louis and kills a number of superheroes, including Cloak. Uh, Matt Gargan, who was Venom at the time, Tigra, Black Panther, Daredevil, uh, Doc Samson, Wasp, and 15 million people. Wow. After that, everything goes to shit. The city of St. Louis is destroyed. This completely fragments the country itself. Everything goes to crap. They make a couple of references to other things that happen. Mm -hmm. That, like, those would be cool books that happened <laughs> during the period between Civil War and now. Yeah, right. But, like... Norman Osborn takes over the White House, the, the Osborn coup. I love the image of like Osborn in the Green Goblin costume, and then like it failed, just it explodes. So he's like, "Yeah, come on!" <laughs> like, <laughs> and I think the idea is that Punisher must have done it, but because Punisher gains a foothold in the entire like infrastructure of this new country. Okay. But that like the country is split down the center. Stark becomes like literally like Illinois. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. And that explosion causes a literal divide in the United States, a hole and a cavern, like a crack in the country. Oh. And Captain America takes over the West mm -hmm. and renames America the Blue. Iron Man becomes president of America, calls it the Iron, and just takes over that area, the East. Interesting. And so they are locked in a war f since then. Huh. For a few years. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So we cut to a few years later. Well, I mean, at least Iron Man has DC. Yeah, he has yeah. DC. He has Inc. he has he's New York. He's got the whole East Coast. So, oh, we, he's got the capital. He's just like, no, this is America. Right. Yeah. Uh, so we watch as we see how they implement the Superhuman Registration Act or skirt it in their respective lands. We see this young lady, and she's learned she can fly, and she's flying around, and she's stopped by security drones and Carol Danvers, aka yeah. Captain Marvel. But in this point, I think she's still Ms. Marvel, but mm -hmm. it doesn't matter. Yeah. Right. Uh, so she's wearing like a Stark augmented outfit. Yep. And she stops her and she's like, hey, like what's going on? You just learned you can fly. She's like, that's great. Listen, Heather, you're not allowed to fly without like registering in the Superhuman Registration Act. And like, we're just trying to keep everybody safe. And so like, well, here's what we're going to do. Like, we're going to, did you know that you were headed on a flight path? Like, you could have caused some real problems if you had, like, flown in front of a plane or you mm -hmm. could have hurt yourself. That's why it's really res important that, like, now that you know you have powers, like, you need to come with us and we'll, like, help you learn them better. Mm -hmm. It's like, and they're both shown in favorable lights, although you could kind of argue that, like, that was pretty quick and totalitarian of them to have <laughs> jumped on her. But then we cut to the blue. And Stature, Cassie Lang, Scott Lang's daughter, who hopefully we'll see in a movie someday, mm -hmm. she is, like... Hey, like, what's going on? He's like, oh, uh, I'm John. I'm just blowing shit up. Are you going to tell on me? And she goes, this is the blue. We, if you got powers, you're good. Uh, but listen, like, that's a cool power. I suggest that you do something good with it. You don't want the Punishers coming after you. Huh. Interesting. And then just leaves. Okay. So you're like, okay. So Captain America's kind of a very, a very hands-off 
kind of like scorched earth approach to it. You know, like the threat of this looming problem of the Punishers, yeah, which are kind of like the law of the land. But like, look, you don't have to register. But no. if you're not going to do something good with your powers, yeah. you better not do like, that. You might die. Yeah. You don't have to register, no. but... No, there's no registration here. Vigilantes will yeah, possibly will decide execute you're you. a threat. How is there not just like constant battle between the blue and the iron? I mean, it is, there, there, there is. We haven't gotten there yet. Yeah, I know it, it has been. They've been at war. Yeah, they've been at since war. then. We're just yeah. seeing a little moment from both of those lands. Yeah. Okay, here's a big pullback of what the what the divide looks like. Interesting. There's like a single. Bridge this is where St. Louis yeah. was. Yeah, this is where St. Louis was. There's the hole. Yeah, <laughs> I like that. There's like little bridges and things going down to it, so that like you can cross. Oh yeah, and they've built like an entire thing down there. Like you can. Do they do you, like exchanges or whatever. Exactly. Yeah. They do like food and medicine and stuff like that. Yeah. And it's very dicey and it's very hard to negotiate. Yeah. Uh, Miriam Sharp, who had played a role in the original Civil War, she was the mother of a child who died in Stanford. Uh huh. She's yeah, still I the one. Her. <laughs> worst. She's still in this, <laughs> and she is working with the government to try and bridge the gap between the blue and the white. She becomes a more well-rounded character, oh. where she's like, "My kid died. Sure." And then St. Louis died. Right. And like, now the... It can't be just be about like, oh, well, now we're at war constantly. And, like, America's ruined. We yeah. need to fix it. And so she's trying to get Cap and Iron Man to sit down and come up with some kind of compromise. Okay. And you're like, right on. That's good. And so... She came a long way. Yeah. yeah. And we, we, we are zeroing in on that moment in time where Steve Rogers and Tony Stark have agreed to go to the meeting. Okay. Uh... Cap, by the way, has his right-hand man, who would be Falcon, but I don't think Falcon made it, and so it's Peter Parker. Oh. But Peter Parker has Falcon wings, too. Okay. Because Cap can't be without a Falcon, He's I guess. He's the new Falcon. Yeah. Welcome aboard, Falcon. I'm Spider-Man. <laughs> Put on your wings, Spider-Falcon. <laughs> All right. Tell you what, you can be Falcon Man. How's that? <sighs> I guess that's better. So... And and the both sides are incredibly distrustful of each other. Like of you know, they're just like no, he's and of course, it's been years of indoctrination and like yeah. propaganda. So like they're believing their own stupid well, hype about each other. Well, they think the other was responsible for yeah. the cataclysm. Yeah, that, that, that ruined the country. Yeah. And they refuse to talk about it. Right. Yeah, and uh, also as an added bonus, uh, Tony Stark is banging She Hulk. Oh, they're together. Okay, fine. <laughs> it's just a just Random. a character thing. Yeah. Uh, so that's. His right hand person. Okay. Uh, so they. I didn't notice it until she became green. No, no. And she's going to get a crazy haircut later and it's going to be even more hard to tell who she is. So <laughs> they go, they what meet. What happened up. to Pepper? <laughs> I guess she didn't make it I don't or know. something. So they go. Uh, also, Pepper Potts is Tony Stark's beloved love interest in the movies. In the right. comics, they had been together. But Stark's been with many other people. Yeah. And Pepper Potts is not like okay. Tony Stark's Mary Jane in the comics. Right. Stark brings a gesture of good faith for Peter. Oh. And that's Mary Jane and their daughter. Mary I'm sorry, Jane, what? Mary Jane and the kid live in the iron. Right. And Peter lives in the blue with Cap. Interesting. And they can't cross over? No. Well, Pete's on the front lines with Cap on this war. But in the interest of peace, Stark brought Mary Jane... And their kid. So he could see it. So he could see. Well, you know, he's like, go be with her during the negotiations. Ah, okay. And he's like, Cap, are you sure about this? He's like, dude, please. Uh. This, this is your wife and your kid. Go. Yeah. So he goes. I'm just amazed they wouldn't be able to move out of New York. They don't want to. Peter wants them to stay there. The Iron has medicine and technology and stuff. It's a better life. Oh, interesting. So the West is kind of devoid? It's kind of like a wasteland. That's hmm. run by, like, vigilantes. And it, then it's a little bit like Old Man Logan, yeah. in a way. A little bit, yeah. Okay. I mean, it, it's freedom. Because, like, there's no, there's no law. Right. Yeah, the law but there's capped. still science. Science has prevailed. Well, yeah, you but can it turns make out things. when you don't have laws, that it, it kind of falls it apart. Breaks down. <laughs> okay, one law. Listen, one well, law, that just means you don't have to register well, your Well, they're founded the is, by people who are violating Cap the Cap has technology. So. It's just the point of, like... It's a cushier lifestyle for Mary Jane. It's a little, little better. Jane. It's a little better. Yeah. Okay. That's all. So they meet. They have immediate distrust of each other. Miriam's like, okay, shut up. <laughs> Let's work this out. Let's not start by accusing each other yeah. and stuff. Stark yeah. refers to Cap's country as a rogue state. Cap says, no, nah, it's a free state. 
And the two of them just get into their ideological arguments. Yeah, like immediately. And they're freaking out. And start. And Miriam Sharp goes like, please, we've barely started. Now just sit down. And then she gets shot by a sniper bullet. Oh, jeez. And <sighs> Good job, guys. And Stark's like, that came from your side. And he's like, yeah, I know. All right, Jesus. <laughs> and he's like, Peter, you need to come through. So Peter busts out his falcon wings because he's Captain Falcon. Yep. And he flies over there. And he finds the, he zeroes in on the sniper. This makes so much sense. Why? He's got wings because there's no more tall buildings out in the now way. You can't yeah, see it's it's like the desert. Yeah. That's true. That's He's a like, very good point. Where am I going to? Yeah. I'm not running. No. I should, I should have stayed over there. <laughs> Just for the, you know, the, the conveyance alone. But he zeroes in on the sniper gun. He finds it. No person. There's no person there. Mm -hmm. yeah. And he's like, okay, like it's a sniper rifle. It came outside the war zone. I'll have to check it out. But there's no shooter. Uh, and then Sharp dies. Yikes. And Oof. both of them are just like, you did this. Right. You They're must have done like, this. You must have done this. And it's great because like, Stark says, Steve, I had nothing to do with this. And Steve goes, does it matter? <laughs> like, we're, we're never going to stop. Yeah. This is never going to end. Yeah. So then, uh, you know, Cap arms for war. And he's like, Stark's never going to let this war end. Let's, let's end it for him. And you're like, oh, Jesus Christ. Oh like, what, what a nightmare. Yeah. Um, Stark sends some drones over to the west to try and track where the shooter came from. Stark's trying to get to the bottom of this. Right. He's like, I didn't, obviously I didn't do this. I don't think Cap did it either. Let's figure this out. Right. And Cap's like, you definitely did it. And you're oh. like, Jesus Christ, Cap. I know I didn't, so it must have been you. So yeah. before, we had Iron Man, who was kind of in the right, being like, no, we have to protect people, and Iron yeah. Man's freaking out. Mm -hmm. And now we have Iron Man being reasonable and Cap freaking out. Exactly. Okay. Yeah. So the drone heads into some weather and bumps into storm. <laughs> and she's like, hey. Hey, drone. Like, don't, don't send your robots. Right. And she smashes the robot. We, run, we see a couple Look, of... I'm a mutant. I really don't do well with autonomous robots. <laughs> uh, it's just been a bad history. <laughs> it's true. <laughs> and we cut to, like, uh, the capital city of the Iron, which is, like, a technological wonder because Iron Man's been given unfettered control of this entire country. Uh -huh. uh, you know. Meanwhile, a uh, a big rock gets thrown at his building. Oh. And it written on it says next time it's a Hulk. So the Hulk is like their big threat. Like yeah. we'll send the Hulk. We'll send a Hulk. A Hulk. A Hulk. Then we get to see the capital city of the blue which is like in the shape of Captain America's shield. That's cool. Which I kind of really like. I love the designs of this book. Yeah. It's nice, but at the same time, you're painting yourself a really big target from space. <laughs> yeah, but like, no one's crossed the divide in a long time. Uh, Pete is on edge because he just saw his wife and kid for the first time in a couple of years, mm -hmm. and like, he's freaking out. And, and then they got retracted. Yeah, yeah. And, yeah. and, and Cap's like, you need to focus, Pete. Like, mm. Pete wants the war We're to- war, man. Yeah. Pete wants the war to end, and he's like, really, really singularly focused. And he's like, listen, like, those people, over there, like they're crazy. They they want us to blah blah. blah. He's completely bought in to yeah. this whole thing, and uh, you know Steve's trying to temper him. He's like, geez, like look what I've created. Yeah, you know, look what I've done to Peter. Uh, and Pete's you like, need to get laid, Pete. Yeah, basically, <laughs> and he's like, Peter needs like P Peter believes that we need to use the ultimate weapon immediately. It's like, mm -hmm. oh, we got this ultimate weapon. We got to use it. He's like, let's go talk to McCoy and see what we got. McCoy being beast. So Stark is like, okay, so we don't know who killed Miriam Sharp, but we are figuring out like that whoever did it is a third party. There's something else going on here. Uh, we also know that like the the bullet was not meant for Sharp. It was meant for it was meant for Cap. Oh. And so and he's like and I didn't do it. How did they determine that? Is it like a special it's, bullet? It's where it's it was actually the the positioning of the gun and where it was. Like Sharp stood up where she shouldn't have. Like uh. it was it was where he was going to be or where he was standing. All but right. The idea was that like they determined it using science and technology. Yeah, and trajectories but, and mm -hmm. geometry. Yeah. I mean, from two and a half miles out, it's gonna take a while for that bullet to hit. So like yeah, yeah you have to fire it predicting where your target's exactly. going to be. Yeah. Uh, but he's like, and I know the cap didn't like hire a hitman on himself. Right. So we got to figure this out. And he looks at like the timeline of events and it's fun to see like what the alternate history of the Marvel Universe is where we've got like the Superhuman, the Superhuman Registration Act, when Peter Parker took off his mask, when the X-Men remained neutral, when they killed Goliath. Like, remember that time that <laughs> Clone Thor killed Goliath? Uh, uh -huh. Then the destruction of Project 42, the divide... There's an invasion, the Osborne regime, 
Gear Sphere, the Octo Wars, <laughs> something that happened with the Century, huh. the per the Plague Years, oh my God. Reentrenchment, and then the death of Miriam Sharp. You're like, that sounds like a lot worse things happened. I would love to see what happened, but yeah. we're not going to. Okay. Octo Wars is great. I know, I love that. But he's Are like, Are you familiar with the Gear Wars? <laughs> the red color coding indicates that that's like different it's different like those are kind of like events that took place where it's like the idea of lightning striking the same place or like winning the lottery three times in a row like they're unlikely events to have occurred based on the other like criteria that take place but did happen anyway mm -hmm. it's like we're being played like that this event uh, is part of a pattern of things like outlier yeah events. of outlier events that we didn't have any control over okay hmm so like we got to figure that out. So there. So Stark's like, I'm on the case. Yeah, yeah. And and and, and Cap's like, and we're gonna nuke him. <laughs> and you're like, oh my god. Uh, we get to like the laboratory where you know Beast is set up. Yeah. And we've got like Sandman in this kind of like glass case, and they're talking to him and they're trying to explain to him like, we're going. You know, you're a criminal. You've done really bad things. You're here in prison. We're gonna we're we're going to experiment on you now. <laughs> what? Like. You can either you, you well like we're you can going, either help us. You can choose to exp you can choose to experiment on or not. Either way, we're going to like, experiment. You. And if we experiment on you, we'll you know reduce your sentence. Oh, okay. Essentially, we're going to put you in a giant hourglass. Yeah, I mean no, <laughs> we're going to torture you. They're going to test the ultimate weapon. Oh. And uh, so Sam is like, all right. <laughs> I want to get out early, so yes. Yeah. Okay. So they activate the ultimate weapon that Beast has developed with Peter. And it transforms Sandman into a regular person. And his powers are gone. Oh. And thus po Project Bell Curve is a, is a success. Uh, Project Bell Curve is a power remover. Uh, so Pete's like, okay, let's use it. Let's do it. And, and Beast's like, okay, well, here's the thing. Uh, that's all of it. We just used it to test it. Oh. We know it works now. No, so, so we need to get like actual. We need to make more. We need to make more. We need to make like the, we need. We used everything that makes it work. We need to go into the iron and steel components to make it like a, to make a functioning bomb that would do it. Oh, okay. That's weird. Spider Man's like, okay. what? Why did you tell me that? Like, I wouldn't have. Oh, I, we wouldn't have done this if I had known you were just gonna use it all right now. So they're like, okay, well, we're gonna have to break into the iron and steel technology to do that. Yeah. Why wouldn't you? Get more to begin with. Well, because, like, what's the point? If it doesn't if work. it doesn't work. That's yeah. the thing. Like, why waste the energy? Exactly. So first you find out if it works, then you confirm it, then you're mm -hmm. like, okay, now it's worth it to actually go yeah. steal more. Right. Yeah. So uh, Pete goes, so Pete leads a task force across the divide and into the iron. They go in, they get attacked immediately by... That's awesome. Iron Man robots. <laughs> That's an Iron Man Sentinel. Yeah. yeah. It is straight up an Iron Man Sentinel, which immediately kills Elektra. Oh, shit. Yep, and that's what they're like. Like, crap. Well, yeah, you invaded yeah, you a invaded. different nation. Yeah. Yeah, um, yeah you're going to get attacked. Yeah, yeah, well, you're going to lose a few. Yeah. So, uh, you know, Stark and She-Hulk bang. Yeah. <laughs> Clearly. Yep. Uh, the point is that they're, like, they're talking about business yeah. afterwards. <laughs> but we get to draw She-Hulk all sexy. Yeah, why uh, not? Well, whoa, whoa, whoa. We're, still, we're drawing Iron Man sexy, too. Well, he's yeah. there, too, yeah. He is there, too. Uh, but they send, basically he's going to send She-Hulk into the blue to get to do recon. Okay. You're going to send a giant green... Nope, she depowers and then, oh. and then uh, shaves her head so that she looks like she's undercover. Oh, okay. So. Cool. So she goes. Spider-Man kills the Sentinel thing. Yeah. You know, it's going to charge up its hand. He pulls the hand and blasts his own head off. Sweet. So She-Hulk, as Jen Walters, as an undercover agent, breaks into the blue, which is like... In Steel Town, it's like Barter Town, but it's yeah. like Captain America themed. Mm -hmm. And you know, she's just doing some recon. She crosses paths with, unbeknownst to her, uh, Speedball. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, Speedball, the one who started all this. Yeah, who is a Punisher now? Oh. You can see, he's got his Punisher badge. Hmm. Uh, shouldn't he Isn't be he a Punish? Shouldn't he be Penance? No. Because <laughs> 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 that sucks. <laughs> That didn't happen in this alternate universe. No, it didn't. But, but if he started this, I think the Punishers might, you know... No, nah, they apparently have promoted him. him. He punished like 15 million people. So anyway, uh, now that She-Hulk's out, Bucky Barnes is Stark's right-hand man, and he's like, okay, let's do this. You know, I'm, I'm ready to step up. Let's do this. It's time for you and I to sleep together. <laughs> yeah, since well, that's clearly right how it does. works. 
Wait, wait, wait. Bucky took Iron Man's side? Yeah. Why? I don't know. Because he's a dick, I guess. Because <laughs> he's like, no. I assume it's an the order. long game. I mean, he's... Right? No, he's not... He... he uh, you know what? I can say this. He's a double agent. Ah. So... Okay. Why would Iron Man trust him? I don't know. <laughs> you were... He's Cap's best friend. Ah. Uh, but I either have you as my, my second in command. Right. Which means I trust you. Or you're an enemy and I keep my enemies closer. I mean, he more or less says like that he's... Iron Man admits that he's a futurist and he could see, like, he could pre- he predicts where everybody's going to fall on the mm. side of the argument. Okay. You know, so, like, he, I guess he's like, I already had it over on you. Like, I knew you were going to choose my side, and so I made you part of my team. Well, also... I mean, it's just the thing. Having Cap's okay. best friend on your side... Right, is a great... I know we can stick in it to Cap. Cap's I know, argument. I know. Yeah, he just wanted it to work. Yeah, it's so like, then yeah. They, uh, they bust into this place, uh, this, this facility... Uh, they smash all the Iron Man robots, and the the MacGuffin that they are pursuing is under the protection of Wilson Fisk, who destroyed Doc Ock and then surgically implanted the arms into himself. But he's like a half corpse creature, and so we've well, got not a genius. we've got King Ock, uh, and so. He's this horrible that's, monster thing. That's insane. I know. But now I can eat whatever I want. It's, now I don't have to worry about my legs carrying me around. Yeah. Uh, he attacks and, Spider-Man. And Stark uses him to defend this thing. Yeah. It's okay. pretty gross. I know. Uh, you know, Fisk, has a, Fisk sees Peter and he immediately is like, Puny Parker. Blah, blah, like starts attacking attack, him. Blah, blah. Yep. It's almost like it's a robot or a zombie version of it's him. It's like a zombie. Because he's like half... Ri- like... He's half yeah. He's like decayed. corpse. He's not yeah. even talking. Like that's the only thing he says. Yeah, it's rem- it's reminiscent of Spider-Man Reign when you had like the corpse of Ock being like marionetted by the actual living arms. Yeah, but it's which is cool. hilarious, by the I way. I know, I know, that's awesome. Yeah, Jen uh, basically is like tracking the signal. She finds Bullseye, who's like making technology and stuff. Like that. He's working on stuff. Mm-hmm. Um, and uh, and then she is confronted by Speedball, mm-hmm. one of the Punishers. Uh, she hulks out and just beats the crap out of him. Yeah. Because, like, you know, he's speedball, he sucks. <laughs> and uh, then she leaves. Uh, meanwhile, on the other side of the country, um, Venom sneaks up behind King Ock, busts out one of Elektra's billy clubs, which is, of course, she was using in deference to Matt Murdock, because the whole point, she took this job. Right. Kind of like to avenge Matt. Matt Murdock, yeah. Uh, but now she's dead. So Venom busts out this, like, symbiote, bow and arrow kind of deal lines up the billy club and just fires it through king ox head yikes revealing that venom is hawkeye oh. cool and barton got the symbiote oh that's cool yeah you could really make good use out of that symbiote suit. i know i know and they do um so Neat. then they kill king ox they take the information and tech they <gasps> need i like that on the logo, you see it comes to a point, yeah, like an arrow. Like hand. an arrow, yeah, that's a good point. Oh, yeah, neat. And it kind of also looks like a hawk. Yeah, and they're kind of like, like, they're like, you know what? I feel like that's what Electro would have wanted, and Matt for that matter. Yeah. <laughs> so uh, She Hulk is trying to escape, uh-huh. more or less. Like she was going to track this 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 piece of tech, and it was a double cross. The whole thing was a trap. Oh, it was a trap. Mm-hmm. Uh, so she is like just inundated by members of the Punishers. She doesn't get blown up, but she ends up in the Divide. Like, inside oh, the Divide. okay. Uh, hmm. Okay. Meanwhile, Peter uh, is successful in his mission. He gives the tech to Beast, and he's like, Beast, get work, work on that thing that I'm so obsessed over. Yeah, the bomb. Uh, meanwhile, we meet up with Jen Walters, who is a prisoner. She's kept in this, like, stasis chamber, mm-hmm. and she is held prisoner by none other than the Black Panther, T'Challa. Ah. Who's alive? Yeah, who yes. was alive? And he's using bullseye. He's bullseye working with bullseye. Is... So it's bullseye that killed. Uh, was trying to kill Cap. I yeah. guess. Yeah. Yeah. Bullseye's the one who pulled the trigger. Yeah. yeah. Well, Absolutely. he missed. Yeah. Or did he? Or did he? Yeah. Oh. So, huh? So now we got. You said the third agent, the one who actually did all the all the carnage. It's Black Panther. The guy who did it in the beginning. Yeah, Yeah, he's the one who actually set it off. Yeah, Black Panther's the guy who, well, Black Panther's the guy who told, you know, them that Cap started it and Iron Man started it. He's the guy who started the, like, who who made the worst part of the war happen. Interesting. And he's playing them both against each other. He's basically been keeping the war going. Yeah. Huh, okay. Yeah. Uh, Meanwhile, uh, they have 
completed project bell curve. Uh -huh. And so they're like, okay, great. And Pete's like, okay, great, let's use it. <laughs> and Cap's like, Jesus. Like, calm down. Yeah. Uh, Iron Man's like, Jen hasn't reported back. Thankfully, I implanted a subdermal tracking device in everybody that I know. Uh -huh. Because I'm not a totalitarian dictator of any kind. Yeah. And so he... I just want to know where you are. Yeah, yeah. at all times. So he suits up, he finds her in the divide. That's a good thing he did. That's true, I guess right? he was right. I guess so. And so, he shows up, he's like, hey, Jen, yeah. what are you wearing? <laughs> <laughs> Nothing like usual. So uh, he heads down there. Uh, Jen Walters is talking to Black Panther, and she's like, so why did why? you Why did you do this? Yeah. Why did you kill Miriam Sharp? He's like, I did it for my people. And she's like, your people are dead. The Wakandans? Yeah. Wakanda's gone. Wakanda got destroyed in an unrelated story that's somewhere in the continuity of this event of this universe. Okay. Why did he do it initially, though? Right. Yeah. So then Stark shows up, and he's like attacked by defense systems that are inside the divide that he did not plan on. Yeah. Uh, yeah, because no, no one knew be freaking Black Panther was down there. Yeah. yeah. Of course. Now that Cap has the bell curve weapon, and they don't believe there's any chance of unification with Stark. Cap launches a full ground troop deployment across the divide. Yeah. Which includes That's like... That's insane. Yeah. Planes and superheroes and X-Men. And, and giant people. Yeah. It's pretty awesome. So they cro they start crossing the divide. This Cap's is ready like, to go. This is like what you set up on your kitchen table. With all your action figures. Wars, yeah. But yeah. some of them are a little bit too big. Yep. And you're like, all right, well, that's yeah. a 50-foot G.I. Joe That's a giant G.I. Joe. Yeah. He's got, he got the pin particles. <laughs> so... Cap's like, okay, we're gonna cross over there. We're gonna we're, when we're gonna fix this war. We're gonna unite everybody. Yeah, we're uh, gonna by ending it. Yeah, we also them. meet up with the Hulk, who is a black-skinned, red-eyed, rage monster. Cool. Yeah, you guys are totally the good guys. Oh, so yeah. I get that there's like a gray Hulk at <laughs> times. Is, is this a black Hulk? Yeah. Yeah. Like, is this just like well, pure is it hate? What happened to him? What happened oh. to him? Like, you know, Let's what's what's the deal with this? You will find out what the deal is with okay. with Hulk. Okay. Um, Cap blows the bridge. Like after them, like after they cross it, they they have another bridge. The like the the original oh. bridge. There's actually like a bridge. That's where they had their meeting with yeah. Mirror Sharp. That bridge was built by both sides as a way of trying to like during some measure of unification. Right. It was a symbol of what could be the yeah, connection between that they, they were, were building to towards each other. Yeah. And then yeah. somebody and the cap's like boom. That's wow. the end of that. Blow it up. So much for the peace bridge or whatever. <laughs> that's <Yeah>. his. <laughs> Time for the infiltration bridge. But yeah. So. Uh, you know, the T'Challa's agents bring a defeated Iron Man before him. They strip him of his armor. Mm -hmm. He's just, just regular Tony Stark. And he's like, hey, T'Challa, nice to see you. I thought you were dead. Also, screw you. Yeah. You're a dick. And he's like, yeah, well, you know, what are you going to do? Anyway, like, I just want you to know that, like, none of this was your fault. You actually didn't do anything, like, wrong. I did it all. It's all right. me. Right. And, and This is weird. Yeah, and Jen is like, yo, like, it's been T'Challa, Black Panther, screwed us all. Like, it's all his fault. Yeah. And he goes, why would you do that? What yeah. is your problem with you? And he's like, I originally, my original plan was to conquer America. But when I saw what you two were up to, I used you against each other and prolonged the war. So now America can never get fixed. And it's always going to be like this mess. It's a war that I didn't really want, but it's a war that I could use against you to gain footholds and control of my own. Then he transforms into Captain America, and he's like, I'm you, you're me, turns into Tony uh, Stark. Uh, and Stark's like, oh my god. I knew you weren't T'Challa. T'Challa would have killed me right away. <laughs> and he's like, kill you? What are you talking about, man? Like, you're, you're nothing. You're, you're just a dude. And he's like, yeah, about that. I actually, remember that time that I cloned Thor and made him have, like, thunder god powers genetically? And then he just conjures up some lightning and blasts him. Wow. And then he's like, huh, nice. Scrolls. who'd have thought? <laughs> so yep. Scrolls. The, the Scrolls reveal themselves while topside, the blue and the iron are at total war with each other. Yeah. Yikes. So there's no going back. Well, well seemingly no. I mean, like, look at this. This is crazy. Yeah. I mean, like, we're not, we're, thankfully we're in, like, the wasteland, so yeah. it's not like collateral damage is going to take place. Right. I get the feeling if someone just went into the middle of the battle and was like, stop, it was Scrolls the whole time. Yeah. They'd be like, screw it. We're already going for it. I We're going to win this. Basically. I mean, like, so Stark's, like, blasting everything. He, you know, he's shooting at Skrulls. He's trying to get away. She-Hulk, yeah. of course, breaks out. Yeah. Hulk's out. She's like, let's go. Yep. And she's like, this is, like, 
I need it. Like, that's the information that I gather. And, and he accidentally like, hits her. He's like, I'm sorry, you're you green. green. They're green. Uh. <laughs> She's like, wow. <laughs> really progressive, Stark. So, uh, yeah, so, so Peter's like, okay, so here's the deal. Like, what we're going to do. Peter and Cap reconnoiter, and they're like, they meet up, and he's like, okay, so here's the deal. Like, we're going to need to set off this bell curve thing. We've got to pull our people back so they don't get depowered and everything. And Cap's like, yeah, 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 well, hang on a minute. Like, let, let's... Let's work out my, my other plan with my, with my Hulk. He basically creates a distraction by launching a tank into the center of the battle and then getting on top of me and like, it's me, Captain America, bring it on! Uh -huh. So they all like converge on his right. location. Right, And Cap's like, Parker, go out, get your shit ready to go. I've got the bell curve. Like, I'm going to take one for the team here. And uh, Hulk stays behind. He's like, I figured I'd stick around. I'll stay with you. Because hmm. like... Otherwise, you're gonna die because there's too many of them. And right, I'm, you I'm just really powerful. Had everybody attack you, so yeah. yeah. Uh, so then, like, so the plan is to draw all the superhumans into where one he is. location. He'll lose his powers, but he'll take down all the other exactly. superheroes at the same time. Yeah, and we'll win. Yeah. Okay. This is a good strategy. Yeah. Uh, meanwhile, one of like Stark's helicarriers is coming through, uh, headed by Barnes. Uh, Barnes is like, you know, let's go, like. We're gonna we're gonna we're gonna blow them all up or whatever. Like you know, he's a scroll too. Obviously, that's the big reveal is that <laughs> Bucky's a scroll. He's been working with Stark. The, like you know, he's been been playing Stark, pushing him towards things. Interesting. Okay. Wow. Mm -hmm. So he's he's saying like we're gonna we're gonna launch an all out attack on yeah, the people on, down below on them. Yeah. yeah. The captain of the of the IAS Pepper, <laughs> she's basically like take a step back here, and he's like listen. You're gonna you're gonna either launch on them or you're fired. Like I'm gonna fire you out of a cannon. What? You know, that kind of thing. And then Stark blasts through the well, Stark's armor blasts through the window. Hmm. Um, meanwhile, Stark of course has stayed behind. He's right, with Jen. Right. Uh, he suits up with another suit of armor. Blasts out of there. Oh, well, I got suits hidden all over the place. Oh yeah. Yeah. So Stark flies over the battlefield, and Hulk is like, "Is that Stark up there?" And Cap's like, "Yeah, that's him. Throw me." Get me up to him. Huh. And he goes, and that was kind of all Colossus's deal. So there's a fastball special with Captain America. Flames Yay. him and Iron Man. They both collide, land on the deck of the helicarrier, and then start fighting. Iron Man's like, stop! It was scrolls the whole time! <laughs> and Cap's like, you would say that. Oh ah. my god, Cap. I know. So they're fighting. Yep. It gets, you know, it gets bloody. And then uh, Stark enacts his plan that he had the suit that he sent up run while he was making out with Jen Walters, uh -huh. which was like, bring up Bucky, Carol Danvers, and Emma Frost. Okay. And so he's like, mm. okay. So then he says, like, look, Frost is not the enemy, Steve. Watch. And then he blasts Bucky Barnes, and he becomes a Skrull who is dead. Huh. And he's like, it was Skrulls the whole time, Steve. And Steve's like, I don't know. Like, I don't know. Like, this could all be tricks by you. Ugh. He's like, yeah, that's why I had Emma Frost here. And she pulls the experiences and memories of the whole last 20 minutes uh, from Stark's mind into Steve's mind. He uh, puts all okay. the pieces together. He's like, oh, oh my God, T'Challa. But it wasn't even T'Challa. Yeah, oh, I'm a toolbox. God. Okay, so, like, the, the Skrull Queen has been in the Divide the entire time with the Skrulls playing us against each other, getting ready for their secret invasion. She's like, and he's like, yeah, great. I love the it's secret awesome. invasion reveal. It's but a secret war as well. That's true. <laughs> oh, it's everything. <laughs> Everything's a secret. So, you see what DC does with their crises? We're doing it now. It's all wars. So, Cap's like, okay. So what do we do? Like, wait, I've got a doomsday weapon that could turn powers off and stuff. I guess we could like drop it in the divide. What's that gonna do to scrolls? Do they have powers? Their powers are their shape shifting ability. It'll revert That's just them back hollow. into scrolls. That's just yeah, but they're just scrolls. I know, I know. Uh, so <laughs> they're like that's, that's not a power. They're, that's what their species does. That's that. physiology. I that's know. like here. I dropped out a chameleon. Uh, we've, we've, now it can't change. We colors. literally talked about this in the Secret Invasion episode. Did we? Yeah, we talked about this at length. So I'm not gonna get into <laughs> it now. Cap sends word to Hulk to throw the bell curve into the divide. No, so it doesn't make any sense. And he goes, come on, just do it, Logan. He pops his big adamantium claws. What? That's right, at some point during the timeline, Wolverine got hit with gamma radiation and became a Hulk. <laughs> and looks like oh, a Hulk okay. and doesn't look like Wolverine. Yeah. Well, doesn't he kind of look like a Wolverine? Yeah, shaved now that you look at him a little closer. So he cuts the bell curve out of whatever it's like holding casing was and then just pitches it into the divide. Okay. 
And he's like, okay, so that should work. We're good. Boom. Hits the button. Doesn't go off. Mm. He's like, either there was some like signal, there was some interference. It could be a broken. And Cap's like, I guess I'll have to go down there. Mm. And Iron Man's like, yes, I guess we will. So the Cap and Iron Man go down there, and they find it, and they're like working on it. Of course, the scrolls are converging. Uh -huh. Like superheroes are starting to converge on that location. Like, hey, what's going on down there? Exactly. <laughs> so they're fighting. You know, Cap's oh, defending. away. <laughs> Stark's uh, defending Cap. Cap's like fighting off the the scrolls. Yeah. And of course, like. Cap has psychic blockers on all of his troops because he knew that Stark had Emma Frost. Uh. And Stark's like, we need everyone on the same page. Right. So you need to send like the code that right, will make all your those. team turn off the psychic blockers so that Emma can tell everybody what I just told you. Right. And he's like, mm, okay. Yeah, so he but does. Then we're, then we're, then we're defenseless. That's what he says. Yeah. And, like, you know, and Stark's like, it's over. The book's over. It's over, What do you man? mean defenseless? We're fighting together for we're once. We're fighting Scrolls. Oh, but you still want the Superhuman Registration Act, oh, though. Oh, my God. We're going to talk about the piece of paper right now. <laughs> so then Emma Frost, like, tells everybody what's up. And they're all like, whoa. Oh, Scrolls. Oh, shit. And I love it because, like, st they're, it's like the last stand of Iron Man and Captain yeah. America. They're surrounded by Skrulls. And Cap's like, Skrulls. I can't believe it was Skrulls. <laughs> and then Iron Man says, like, after everything that happened, after everyone who died, like, I don't think Skrulls is the real bad guy in this situation. Oh. And then everyone's like, okay, we got to go down. We're going to pull out Rogers and we got to pull out Stark. Let's go. And all of them are coming down. And Stark's like, look at them all. And Cap's like, yeah. They're all heroes. Click. Sets off the bell curve. Turns off every superhero's powers. Whoa. Of course, the bomb explodes, which kills all the surrounding Skrulls. And, and Cap, Cap and, Iron. and Iron Man. Yeah. So anyone with, like, flight suits catches everybody else. Uh, That's the, not a lot, though. The Skrull <laughs> Queen, Varenki, she gets her ass kicked by a depowered Jennifer Walters. And she is now a prisoner of war. And we cut to two months later. And Peter is meeting up with Jen Walters. Peter's in charge of the blue. Jen Walters is in charge of the iron. Mm. And the two of them have been have been working on reunification. Okay. You know, they're talking they about built the like, new bridge. They built a new bridge. They're building the new bridge. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, Pete is finally with Mary Jane and his kid. And they're talking about like rebuilding and reunification, how it's like it's hard to kind of like shake everyone's mindset out of it despite like the scroll thing. Right. And like it, it's gonna take work. It's gonna take it's gonna take time. Yeah. And she says, like, do you think that when Steve and Tony were down there that they knew that they were going to turn everybody's powers off. Like, did mm. you did you know, did you think they did it on purpose? Right. Yes. And Peter goes, I really don't know, but I'll tell you one thing, I don't want to fight about it. Huh. <laughs> and you're yeah, like, it's, wow! It's a good yeah. line to end on. Yeah. yeah. Like, it's over. The fighting is it over. It should be called Civil War, No More Powers. Yes. <laughs> because we got to do the No More thing. Yeah, we got to yeah. do No More... Civil War by Skrulls. Like, secret Civil War. Secret Civil War. No, because that would ruin it. Like, yeah, that would ruin but, the like, Skrull thing. For me, like, th this, this pays off something that I think I said in the Civil War episode, like, four years ago, in yeah. which I was like, why wasn't Miriam Sharp a Skrull? Right. In the beginning. Right. Where she's like, I need, because she's the one who Quinstigate. forces Tony yep. to push the Superhuman Registration Act. Yeah, she's the catalyst. Because, like, the Skrulls take advantage of the 50-state initiative that Stark enacts. So it's like mm -hmm. a scroll in every state. Mm -hmm. Like, it's... it's Just a, make it the scrolls the whole it's thing. It's a perfect retcon that also allows you to put the genie back in the bottle yeah. with, with Stark and Cap. Yeah. Yeah, it basically lets them off the hook for being, like, total assholes. Exactly. But you still get that story. Yeah. And they're still on the hook for, like, some of their behavior. Yeah. Which is why, at the end, they don't make it. Yeah. But well, but in this, she's still not a scroll. No. Nope. But it was scrolls. It was ultimately scrolls. And I, d and I really like that. Like, yeah, it, it was scrolls, but scroll it, it wasn't scrolls for, like, the first Civil War. No. It was only yeah. scrolls for, like, the new... At the end of it. ...continued Civil War. Well, like... The, you know, Cap but and Iron Man that, started the war. But the fact yes. that Black Panther was apparently a scroll the whole time. Yes. Yeah, but it's not like Black Panther was pulling the strings in the no, Civil no. War. No, he was not. Well, he, the <laughs> so only thing he did, entirely the only thing he did was, well, he made it irreconcilable by saying that the other... P pulled the bomb. Pulled the bomb. Yes. That, but again, that was all part of this story. Right. That was not part of the original story. The original no. Civil War yeah. was still 
Oh, Tony's fault and, and the, Cap's fault. In the original <laughs> Civil War, Black Panther gets married to Storm and invites both of them to Wakanda to try and settle it. And they don't, and they both leave. Like, and, he's, and he says, like, if you ever bring your war to Wakanda, I will wreck you. You know, mm. that's his whole role in right. the Civil War. That is funny. Which is pretty cool, yeah. but I really like that, like, we don't even know. Some of these characters, we don't even know what happens. I mean, like, and there's some big heavy hitters that don't play any role, like a Magneto... Oh, yeah. He's alive. They and he's show in him this. at the end of the war. I'm like, oh, well, they should just win because he could just make I a know. billion like, sharp bullets and like kill everybody with them. It, yes. But <laughs> I appreciate that they're also like, they're part of this universe, but we're not going to make it all about them just because they're right. OP. Right, right. And like, and I, I like the sacrifice of the two of them. They're basically, they're basically like, we're on the hook for this. It's our fault. We deserve this. Yeah. Well, not only that, We've been leading these people yeah. this entire time yeah. to yeah. fight and, because and we were had deceived powers. by right. scrolls the whole time. Yeah, well, by scrolls. No, no, the lamest we were not deceived by scrolls the whole time. <laughs> well, the whole most of the war. Yeah, Cause, most cause of this the book. part of the war before the scrolls happened. Before this book was like what, like six months, a year, uh, barely. Yeah. yeah, and like no cities were annihilated as yeah. a result. This of it. is like well, the then scrolls the whole country blew up St. Louis. Wrecked yeah. after that, yeah. and that was all. That's crazy. Exactly. Yeah. And that's I what mean, really, divides America. Yeah. Really, Cloak destroys St. Louis because he's so poorly trained. See, if he was registered, then he would have known to close <laughs> okay. the port. Okay. <laughs> but you can get a copy of this in the description. I think, for my money, it's like a more satisfying Civil War. Mm. The other Civil War, you're like, oh. Ugh. This one, you're like, oh, but like, oh. My only issue with it yeah. is, if that's the case, why didn't yeah. the Skrulls do anything else afterwards? They they had been like yeah, it's, the, just, it's a long and slow in fact, burning like, plan. If you look at like the timeline that Stark pulls up, or like yeah. the red points, like the Osborn coup, that was for Skrulls. Yeah, you know, like, like, just... oh, like they were trying, and then they were like, no, no, no we got to play it like shifty and secretive yeah. from the whole the ground. long game. It's going to take yes. like 20 years. Right? No, it's, only, we don't... it's only like three. Oh, like, it's only three years. It's only if like we don't get five. Cap and okay. Iron Man. To actually fight, mm -hmm. it's not going to work. physically fight each other in yeah. the end of the fight. Yeah, no. But, like, uh, I, I dig it. It's dark. It's cool. But, like, it has a positive message at the end. Yeah. Perfect what-if book and a pretty solid alternate history book, too. Yeah. Like, and it's the perfect way to end the war. Yes. Here, you know that you have power. Yeah, exactly. You can stop that? fighting over your stupid bullshit. Yeah, your powers are done now. And the cool yeah. part is, is people will still eventually get powers. That's true. right. This yeah, doesn't take away powers forever. No, it's no. not like, we've changed the entire, like, the soil, and so powers can't manifest. Like, no. Yeah. yeah. Just those guys. Just yeah. the ones who just, just the ones who are willing to fight so hard You know about, what's about amazing? It. Yep. Is that as a war zone's tie-in, yeah. this being secret war? Yeah. Suddenly now, this world does not have powers. Right. They can't get and involved. And they can't help at all in what's going on yeah, in the That's why planet. that this has no play in the Secret Wars story. Yeah. That's hilarious. This because they're true. all like, well, what are we going to do? They don't make any... Like, they're not like, oh, and then there's the wall that protects us against the Age of Apocalypse. <laughs> and over there is the universe where Spider-Man's mayor or something. No. <laughs> they don't even bother. Right. Thank you, by the way. <laughs> The only, the only book where that's cool is Old Man Logan. <laughs> yeah. Because Logan cl climbs over the wall. <laughs> so, well, I'm not dealing with this. This sucks. Clunk, clunk, clunk. I, yeah. It's pretty fun. I recommend reading it. I think it's really well put together. Charles Soule does a great job doing a book that doesn't matter and nobody cares about. Mm -hmm. uh, and it's fun to get Lionel Yu. Lionel Yu drew Secret Invasion. And here he is drawing a tiger. <laughs> That, that does hey, it invasion. works. It's arguably a perfect amalgam of those two stories, yeah. and it's, a, it's and has more satisfying repercussions. They should call think? it civil invasion. No, yeah, again, like, that gives it away. You don't want to give it away. Yeah. Civil war sells books. I was going to say, movie. do you think the fact that Lionel Yu is on the book, people are just like, wait a minute. Right. No, I it didn't put it. To, I didn't put it together that. until yeah. the scrolls, and I'm like, oh, that's Us perfect. How cool. You got me. Cool. Yeah. Yeah. It's so good, you're like, why don't you go back to 2006 and unmake that stupid reveal and make it Skrulls then too? I can't believe they didn't capitalize on the Skrulls as much as they did in the real Secret Invasion. Right. But yeah, so, and hey, listen, like, I don't blame them for calling it Civil War. What do you think we're calling it? <laughs>